Nice work back there. Let's hope the scribes can do something useful with the information you retrieved. Unfortunately, we don't have time to sit around and wait for the analysis. Based on what I've seen of you so far, there's an assignment I believe you're well suited for. Paid? No, perhaps there's been some misunderstanding about how all this works. You are not a mercenary. You are serving the Brotherhood of Steel to ensure our way of life, to help advance the lives of everyone in the Wasteland. Our continued survival should be payment enough. If that is insufficient, you would do well to reconsider your involvement here. I have yet to find a sense of humor to be essential to my survival. Should that change, I'll be sure to seek you out for advice. In the meantime, I need someone willing to scout out and potentially retrieve valuable technology from the ruins of Old Olney. We're looking for something that I believe can be found in the Olney Power Works. Are you up to it? Hopefully you'll be able to find a Tesla coil, an experimental device from before the war. Our scribes needed to complete a little surprise they've been preparing for the Enclave. Get there, get the coil, and get back as safely and quickly as possible. Any questions? Check with Scribe Valancourt. She's been researching some of the Enclave technology we've recovered. From what I understand, she may have come up with something. I'll be waiting for that Tesla coil, if you can find one. I'm still very, very busy. Is this important, or can it wait? Well, maybe. I mean, possibly. I think so, but I'm not certain. I don't know how much this will actually help. I mean, I'm not quite sure how effective it might be, since it hasn't really been field tested. But I think I've figured out a way to override the signals the Enclave is using to control their death claws. Here, take this. It's only a prototype, so please don't lose it. It's a semi-standard transmitter, only I altered the frequency modulation and jacked up the output. Based on some experiments I ran here in the lab, it should override the signals the Enclave uses to control Death Claws. Don't worry, it's constantly broadcasting, so you don't need to do anything. Just don't lose it. And so far, I have no evidence of adverse effects of EM interference in humans. Animals, maybe, but not humans. Anyway, it doesn't have a huge broadcast range, but it should be enough. It overrides the Enclave signal, so as far as the Death Claw is concerned, you're in control. And remember, it works passively. As long as you have the Scrambler on your person, it'll do its job. No, I don't think so. As long as you're within range of the Enclave's transmitter, your signal should be the one the Death Claw follows. If you get too far away, well, I'm not sure what's going to happen. I think there might be some bad effects. Oh, well, for the Death Claw, not you. All right then. There have been reports of an Enclave camp southeast of Old Olney, so I'd head there if you want to try it out. I hope the Scrambler ends up being useful. I'd hate to have spent all this time on it and get no results, or bad results. That would be worse. Good luck, and please be careful.
Hey, good to see you. I heard you had a bit of a problem getting the purifier started. Sorry about that. We're looking into exactly what happened. Anyway, it's great to see you on your feet again. We wouldn't be here now without you. Oh, well, she, uh, after what happened to you when the purifier started, I think she just kind of had enough. It was really hard on her, you know? First losing your dad, and then the enclave, and then the brotherhood taking over here. It was really just too much for her. So I guess she packed up a few things and headed off north, towards the Commonwealth. Rumor has it there's a scientific community up there. I sure hope she finds what she's looking for. Me? Well, I figured after all the work we already put into this place, we could help the Brotherhood keep things running smoothly. It's worked out pretty well so far, I think. They're not necessarily the friendliest bunch, but I've been doing what I can to get along with them. Catch you around. Look, I'm busy. Can we do this some other time? You haven't heard? I guess I shouldn't be surprised. She basically folded. After the purifier was started, she decided she'd had enough and headed up north. Said she was looking for the Commonwealth, like she'd ever make it on her own. Tell you what, you run into her, you tell her Daniel sends his regards. What's it look like? I'm doing my work, same as I've always done. These Brotherhood scribes wouldn't know what to do with half the equipment here if their lives depended on it. I'm basically running this place from behind the scenes, no matter what Bigsley tells you. Yeah, sure, whatever. Hi. Gotta hand it to you, kid. That was a brave thing you did, risking your life to start the purifier. But, do you know? You've made my life a living hell. I'm guessing not. The hero of the wasteland probably has more important things to worry about, don't you? Oh, I'm sorry. Was I being rude just now? Maybe I should congratulate you on getting through the door. After all, you did have to trip over that never-ending line of people waiting to get in here. I'm Scribe Bigsley. And I'm more than a little busy. Right. Yeah, I heard about your dad. Sorry, kid. I don't mean to sound unsympathetic. <laughs> really. But if you understood the pressure, you know the wasteland. I imagine trying to get fresh water to every known settlement without getting it stolen by raiders or, or mutants. Now, imagine doing that without any trained soldiers or military resources because they've all been exhausted fighting a little war with the Enclave. Yeah, that's my job. Not to mention the mountain of crap I get from all the lab coats running around underfoot. Really? Well, yeah, there's plenty of things I need help with. But most of it's pushing papers and knocking sense into giant eggheads. Eh, task for any accolade, really. I'm sure I could put your experience and talents to far better use. Well, I've got Rivet City water caravans needing help with some uh, unusually organized bandits. Need someone to go investigate what that's all about. And then there's Megaton. They want more Aqua Pura. I just sent a shipment to them. Need someone to go visit Megaton and see what their problem is. Many of us keep asking that same question. The Brotherhood isn't a postal service. We have important things to do, and we need caps and technology to do it. Lyons is on some kind of mission. Has he forgotten about the Enclave? That's our priority. But yeah, things are being done to offset the cost of Lyons' little pet purity project. It's not that I don't trust you. I know you're trustworthy, but 
You see, that's just it. I don't think you're capable of discretion. Nothing immoral is going on, but... <clears throat> I'm already in a lot of hot water with the Brotherhood. I need to be careful with what I say and to whom. If I did, I wouldn't tell you. I'm just doing what I'm told to do by lions. Even if I don't like doing it. Don't get me started about Rivet City. They feel entitled to everything. Always whining about how they're our scientists and all that crap. Like they did us a favor. Thought the security deal we'd worked out with them would be you know, a win-win. And my hope was they'd completely take over the water caravan escorts by now. But I got Officer Le Pelletier bitching about an organized bandit syndicate. Guess they don't have the chops after all. I need you to go visit Officer Le Pelletier and lend a hand. Great. Hopefully you can get them straightened out. We really can't do this without them. I don't know what to think. I got lions breathing down my neck about it, though. Apparently, Megaton's sending him nasty letters demanding a shipment. I just sent them a week's supply. A month's if they ration. Look, if you can straighten out Megaton so I get lions off my back, I'll make it worth your while. Really? Oh, that's great. Uh, I'm sorry I can't offer you any support in this. All our resources are uh, tied up at the moment. Good luck. Oh, and uh, of course I have a little something for your efforts, if you're successful. Yeah, stay safe out there. Sure. It's not like I'm going to be able to get much done today anyway. Ask away. I literally can't remember the last time I got sleep. I must have dozed off recently, though, if the, <laughs> the drool on my desk is any indication. <sighs> I follow orders, but I'm not exactly a yes man. I figure a scribe's job is to find the devil in the details. Consequently, I seldom get promoted. I think Elder Lyons finally had his fill of people questioning him. And while Scribe Rothschild and I usually see eye to eye on things, so it's apparently time to set an example for those who ask too many questions. Yeah, that's a long story, actually. I started out in the swords. I got the output of a few laser rifles. Apparently, some initiates couldn't handle the extra power. <laughs> a few got hurt. Then I joined the Shields. <laughs> Bowditch wasn't all that pleased with me, proving him and his theories on force field resonance were a bit antiquated. And I found myself among the Quills. Jameson refuses to accept any fact that conflicts with her rose-colored, optimistic views. She likes to assign contradictory personalities to field operations. Take, for example, myself here, or Yearling, exiled to that accursed library. You know, I used to think Rothschild and I were on the same page. <laughs> Turns out he's happy to blindly follow the old man's orders like the rest of them. It's probably best if I don't answer that question. <sighs> well, by all means, I'd love to answer some questions. I've got nothing better to do. She apparently decided to pursue more interesting projects up north in the Commonwealth. The real reason? She couldn't handle us scribes improving upon her work. She's the kind of woman who needs to be in charge of everything. Good luck to her out there in the wasteland. <laughs> it's a long walk to the Commonwealth. Can't say she'll be missed. Um, because it's not irradiated? Really? You couldn't work that one out for yourself? I don't think anyone really knows the answer to that. It seems to be going rather quickly, though. I'm sure you can imagine the chaos if we just let anyone who wanted to wade into the basin and fill up a jug. 
frankly, there just isn't the time or the resources to deal with that crowd control nightmare. You take a bottle, you dunk it underwater, and glug, 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 it fills up. Amazing. But you're right, a machine would help, but all the scribes are busy reverse engineering Enclave gear. A machine that puts water in bottles just isn't on anyone's priority list at the moment. Yeah, well, when you remember what it was you were going to ask, take it up with one of the other scribes, okay? Thanks. If you're here looking for water, I'm afraid I can't help you. All the water is at Project Purity. If you want a handout, head over to the Jefferson Memorial and ask for Scribe Bigsley. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm busy coordinating military operations. <laughs> Tell me about it. It's enough trouble just keeping the miscreants on that leaky boat under control. But the Brotherhood needs help delivering all that water. But I'm not getting the support I need. There's been an increase in attacks on the caravan, and they don't seem random anymore. To make matters worse, I'm running out of resources, and I'm down to my greenest men. Great. I can really use a strong arm on this one. I need you to escort a caravan from Project Purity to Canterbury Commons. If or rather, when they get ambushed, I need you to figure out who's behind the attack. I'm pretty certain any caravan will be attacked. This particular caravan also happens to have my most junior men escorting it. They could really use someone with Wasteland experience leading the team. After protecting the caravan, track down the attacker's base of operations and put an end to it once and for all. Do the job right and report back to me and I'll make certain you get paid appropriately. I suppose I don't really need it pushing papers around here, do I? <sighs> all right. Consider it an advance on your payment. You'd better not disappoint. Great. I had a feeling you would. Officers Davis and Lauren should have just left Project Purity. If you hurry, you'll catch them. Their course hugs the river closely. If you head north, following the river from Project Purity, you should catch up to them. Please, hurry. What do you need to know? If you head north, following the river from Project Purity, you should catch up to them. Please, hurry. Fine. At first it was a win-win. They paid us and shared their technology with us. The spoils of their war with the Enclave were particularly enticing. However, with all the recent attacks, the extra resources end up being used just protecting the caravans from being exterminated. You'd think that'd be the smart thing, right? Then the caravan drivers could use the markup to simply pay for their own security. Wouldn't need us. Maybe it's an indirect marketing campaign for the Brotherhood. Considering the war with the Enclave, they might need new recruits. Whatever the case, as long as they keep paying us in caps and tech, we'll keep escorting the water. Bye.
came out of nowhere. I need to get back to reports on the Pelletier. She'll want to know what happened. And now, uh, thanks for the help. Important public service announcement. Don't feed the Yawgwai. Hi, I'm Split Jack. I'm recording this because I figure half you idiots can't read for shit. But you best don't lay this tape around just anywhere. If you're listening to this, it's because one of my boys thinks he can trust you. If he's wrong, you're dead. If he's right, then you're going to be rich. Got us a plan, see? We hit the water mules with the Brotherhood busy fighting the Enclave. Soon they'll want to give up the whole delivery thing. Then, we offer our protection services. Wasteland's dangerous and all. We charge them steep. On top of it, we sell the water to whoever we want. If you want in, ride out with the next ambush. Stash the water when it's done, the regulars will show you where. And then get up to Grandma Sparkles. Grandma loves visitors and keeps her mouth shut. That, and she cooks a mean stew. So that's where we meet. Wilhelm's Wharf. It's on the river. Don't get lost. Oh, and memorize the passphrase. It's Meyerlert Stew. If you forget it, don't bother coming round. You'll get shot. No kidding. hell are you? Huh. You're one of the newbies then. Fine. So long as you know the passphrase, you're in. If not, you're dead. Okay, you're lucky you knew that. Don't know who let you in, don't really care. This is a real simple gang. Whoever's the toughest sets the rules. And that's me. And I got just one rule. Do what the hell I say when I say it. Now find a seat. We're waiting for some of the boys to get back. Oh, and put this on. We're a gang. We all wear the same uniform. Look at it. What is it? Take a seat and relax already. You're making me nervous. No one told you? It's simple. We hit water caravans and stash the Aqua Pura. And after Rivet City's had enough, we offer our Wasteland Protection Services. Then we control the water. And we charge whoever, whatever, we want for it. How do you like that? You got a death wish? Fine by me. Knives, pipes, or boards? Great, here's a nail board. Use that and only that. I get hit with something other than that, or by anyone else, and my boys join in. Good luck. You're gonna need it. It's on now. Ha, 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 ha.
kick his ass. <laughs> you are. What have you done? Well, did you take care of whoever's behind the attacks on the caravans? Really? Oh, that's excellent. Thank you. As soon as I have a moment, I'll make arrangements to see to your reward. Yes, well, uh, I don't really have anything I can give you at the moment. I've simply, uh, run out of resources. Only a quarter of my escorts have made it back. I fear the worst. I'll send word to Bigsley, the Brotherhood scribe running things over at Project Purity. I'm sure the Brotherhood can reward you for your efforts. Now, if you'll excuse me... My investor arrives at last. This line of work doesn't allow for much sentiment, but how could I not offer you some material token of my thanks? In that case here, the gift of health. Rarely given in this day and age, but all too often taken. See you next time you need that special little something. So oh, poor Welcome you. to Megaton. Please stand clear oh. of the gate. Crystal clear water. Bless you. Thirsty, partner, and dry, Bari Artis. I haven't tasted water All this pure. drinks it's in the capital wasteland. Oh, oh. oh, God, what's wrong? Water? Ah! Need some. What should I do? He asked for water, and I thought I was helping him, not killing him. I just gave him some water I picked up on the way through Springvale. It tasted pure and it looks clean. How was I supposed to know? I thought it would help him. It was supposed to be holy water. The man at the monastery in Springvale said it was blessed. He gave me this pamphlet along with the water. He called himself Brother Gerard. You can find him on the road through Springvale. They said they had lots of this holy water. Please do something to stop them. Um, you can't stay here. Try the brass lantern. Hey. What? And here you are. The spirits have blessed me with many gifts. But you have given the more marketable gift of monetary investment. Please accept this offering. A mask and helmet made from the hide of the wisest spirits of the wind. May it benefit you as fully as it has myself. If the clothes make the man, then here are the means to remake yourself. Pleasure doing business with you. Yes. Walk well, friend. I'm drop. Weary traveler, welcome to the Monastery of the Apostles of the Eternal Light. Oh, but you must be parched from your travels. Yet please, accept this gift. Holy water, blessed by our order. 
We must drink deep of the water of light so that it may sanctify our tongues and render us purified for discourse. I can see the glint of Adam's light in your eyes. You have purified your tongue with the holy water. So now we may speak. How may this servant of the eternal light serve you? No, no, ours is a modest order, but our ranks are growing slowly as others hear our words and are enlightened. As our luminescent mother says, where others walk only in the dying waste, we offer the path of eternal light. And to spread goodwill, we offer this holy water to any and all supplicants. It's full of Adam's light, if that's what you mean. Brighter and warmer than any water I've ever seen before. Blessing of the holy water is overseen by Mother Curie III, our luminescent mother, but her work keeps her busy within the monastery at all times. Our luminescent mother went to meditate outside of the city, and as she wandered in a trance, she was visited by Adam's angels of war. These angels brought her aqua pura, water so pure, so pristine, and so unsullied that she knew it would make the perfect vessel for Adam's glow. Since that day, she has busied herself consecrating Adam's pure water into the waters of light. No, it's full of Adam's light. It's a tragedy that not everyone is prepared to accept enlightenment, but such are the ways of the divine. Besides, we never force anyone to drink it. We simply give the opportunity to those who thirst for something more. Ah, the apostles of the eternal light were first introduced to the majesty of Adam's glow by the holy teachings of Confessor Cromwell. And we were content to stay in Cromwell's church until Adam gave a vision unto our luminous mother. She learned that Adam did not call for division, that sundering which drives us apart. Adam calls for enlightenment, the warmth which feeds us. For it is only through Adam's supreme and total enlightenment that we may attain salvation in eternal light. Ah, but of course, you have been blessed by Adam with eternal light and are most welcome to our monastery. You will find many kindred spirits within. Please introduce yourself to our leader, our luminescent mother, Curie the Third. May Adam's light guide you. us the gifts of mercy and compassion. Oh, my brethren, let us share with them the waters of light. Let them be fulfilled by Adam. Let them know his glow and be truly enlightened. And let them live forever and walk with us in the grace of Adam's glow and never be empty again. Oh, oh my! I wasn't expecting a pilgrim to our shrine. We're hardly prepared for casual visitors, I'm afraid. You must have made quite an impression on Brother Gerard. He's a lovely boy, but rather strident. I hope he wasn't a bother. Oh, but where are my manners? I'm Mother Curie the Third and I lead the Apostles of the Eternal Light. What can I do for you, my dear? Yes, if you wanted some, I'm sure that Brother Gerard would have gladly given you a bottle or two. We don't charge for charity, you know. It was a gift from Adam. I was meditating, 
right here in Springvale when four of his armored angels came to me. When I said I was from Megaton, they gave me barrels of aqua pura and said I should share it with my people. They were very clear on that. Naturally, I understood Adam's message, and so I've been busy blessing this holy water and sharing it with the world. Why, to offer enlightenment to all those who suffer, of course. No more, no less. Adam came to me with a vision, the starving, the ill, the weak, all being made whole and well by receiving the sacrament of Adam's glow. And so, with our holy water, we can make this vision a reality. When exposed to Adam's supreme glow, the ill are reborn in his glowing visage. Those reborn never hunger, never suffer, and never age. All our enlightened brethren need to know is Adam's glow, and they are happy. That's correct, it does. But we can work miracles with our holy water. Free of impurities, this aqua pura is perfect for carrying Adam's blessing. Sadly, only a small number of supplicants truly achieve eternal light. The rest must be satisfied with enlightenment and an end to their suffering. May you know eternal light. something you wish to say. Don't be silly. How else will we spread the word to the unenlightened? So many misunderstand Adam and fear the glow of his light as a thing of destruction rather than humanity's next step toward perfection. With this marvelous holy water, they drink without fear, and by the time the glow consumes them, they have no need to fear ever again. Give it time, child. Soon Adam will enlighten your eyes, and you will come to realize the truth for yourself. I suppose it's a fair question. <sighs> Ever since I was a girl, I knew I was destined for something special. I always resisted the feeling, <laughs> me, special? <laughs> But one day, I fell asleep during one of the confessor's sermons, and I had a dream. A dream of the prophet of Adam, ablaze with holy light. He told me of my destiny, of my mission. I was called to service, and I answered. The only being able to convince me I was wrong would be the prophet of Adam himself. The prophet of Adam! I, I didn't recognize you until now! Your eyes are aglow! Your very skin radiates with Adam's heat! I, I didn't realize... Uh, uh, 
my lord, now that you have revealed yourself to me, I do, uh, I see the errors of my ways. Forgive me, for I knew not what I was doing. We will spread your word without the use of holy water. We will return the Aqua Pura to Megaton. It shall be a test. The worthy will seek us out, and finding us, they will find the message of Adam, drinking the waters of light in their souls. Yes! I leave you now, Lord. I cannot bear to look upon your shining face any longer. <laughs> Is there something else? Cult? There's something about Megaton, isn't there? It's apparently THE place to start a cult these days. Hmm, guess I can start sending them water again. Hopefully they can keep their grubby hands on their shipments this time. Here. It's not much. Most of the assets have been exhausted, but take this. It's definitely worth getting lions off my back. <laughs> Thanks. Yes, yes, I received a message from her. It's here somewhere. And, well, no matter where it is, I know what it said. <sighs> the initiates just finished itemizing a requisition of confiscated Enclave gear. There were a few items that we didn't immediately send out. I suppose you're welcome to those. The Brotherhood thanks you for your efforts. Now, if you don't mind, I think I'll just take a brief nap here at my desk. <laughs> 